So for this exercise, you're gonna need a band. And what I want you to focus on here is the big toe. So you're gonna just loop the band in around the toe. And then the aim here is we're gonna be working on abduction. So trying to get that big toe away from the second toe. Now we might need to physically put it into a position if you're fairly restricted and, and you know your, your toes, toes are pretty uh, cramped up. We're going to look to stretch that as best we can. So I'm gonna lock in the band. Then I want you to plant your toe on the floor and then kind of push these away as much as you can. So you can see I'm creating a bit of a gap there. With the opposite hand, I'm just gonna plant it on the floor. So now it's under some tension. In terms of like your seating position, just get into whatever's comfortable for you. You might even need to be on the knees or, or whatever's the most comfortable position, okay? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm looking to lift this toe, okay? So we're gonna lift it up as much as we can. So I'm really trying to activate it here now. It mightn't look like it's doing much. It's because it's under resistance. And then I relax. So I lift it up and then I relax. So I'm really trying to gain a little bit more control in the toes. For this, I would probably do about 10 reps and then I would try to hold for 10 seconds. So I'm really trying to pull that toe up as best we can. What I want you to note here is that I don't lift the other toes. Do we see that? So it makes it a lot easier. I'm really trying to differentiate between just this toe and not these ones. So these ones are ideally staying on the floor as I try to lift. After 10 seconds, we would then relax. From there, what I look to do now is again, bring this under even more tension. Now what I'm looking to do is I'm gonna lift that toe and I'm gonna start to take the tension off this band, but I'm gonna try to keep the toe in the same position. So if I do it really quickly, you'll notice that my toe went back towards the second toe. So I wanna try and minimize that. So I'm gonna lift it up, so it's up now. And then what I wanna to try to do is I wanna to try to minimize it going this way. So it's naturally gonna to want to, so I'm trying to push it back towards my left hand in this instance. And then as soon as I've maxed it out, you can see it's gone back across. I now pull it back into that abducted position. I now lift it back up and then Again, try to minimize it going back to the second toe. And then again, I go again. So in this one, you know, anywhere between five to 10 reps is gonna be good. There's no set structure. All I'm looking to here is try and get maximal control on the inside of the foot, okay? So lift up, try and minimize any kind of moving of the toe. And then I go again. So effectively what we're trying to do here is to create that gap but not only create the gap in that we're stretching the toe, but we're actually trying to gain function in the toe. The reason being is this is then going to help us with our footfall and also balance them. I hope you enjoy these short tutorials. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Please help support this channel by clicking that subscribe button.